folks, today I'm going to be sharing with you um, four stages of development, which are teach, control, reinforce, and refine. And what I'm going to apply this to is the phases that you would use in a driving game. Um, if you've ever sent an audition in, you've probably gotten the feedback of refine your phases more, or build more responsiveness, or long phase one, quick two, three, four, you've probably heard some of these things. So what I want to talk about is what phases would you use in each stage, and then um, how can you use the knowledge of knowing what stage you're in to have better communication with your horse when you're playing with them. Um, so in the teaching stage, um, this is something that most probably students are really familiar with, really good at doing, is teaching the horse phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four, and uh, they're, they're really good about sequentially um, increasing the pressure until the horse finally um, does the, the desired outcome and yields away or does whatever they need to do. So we're going to use phase one, two, three, and four here. So I'm going to use all three, four phases. Now, the next stage is the control stage. Control stage is pretty much exactly what it says. It's for control. So um, oftentimes when I ask uh, students what, what phases would you use in this stage, I'll get a whole range of answers. Um, but what you really need to know is you're going to go to phase four. Okay? If you need control the horse, to keep your, yourself safe, to keep the horse safe, in, in the control stage, you're going to go right to phase four, have control. Okay, that's a one ring stop. Instead of sliding your hand down the rein three times, you're just going to get a hold of them, bend them around, and get control. If the horse is coming over top of you, you need to go to phase four with your line or your stick. You're going to do it. Keep yourself safe. Um, the next stage, the reinforcing stage. This is the one that I think is commonly misunderstood. Um, and again, people get a little unsure of what, what phases to use in this stage. And the way I like to think about it as, is reinforcing phase one. So this is where you're going to build responsiveness. This is where you're going to get your horse uh, to respond off of the slightest uh, phase, which is phase one. So um, in the reinforcing stage, you're going to use a long phase one, and then you're going to fit, go to phase four, and you're going to reset after that. I'm going to show you that technique in a minute. So once you go to phase four here, you're not going to stay there and keep, keep going like you would in here. If you have to go to phase four and, and tag the horse, you're going to reset. Then ask again right away at phase four, because it's all about getting the horse to respond to phase one. The refining stage, this is where most people think is in here, where you're refining your phases. But really, in the refining stage, what you're refining is the quality of the maneuver that you're doing. Sometimes it's getting the horse to relax more. Sometimes it's getting the horse to step over this way more, or maybe back with vertical flexion, or something like that. So in the refining stage, the phases that you're going to use are phase one and phase two. If you have to go higher than phase two, there's a good chance that whatever you're trying to get the horse, whatever you're trying to refine, the horse is going to think about your phases and your pressure instead of whatever they're supposed to be doing. So we're going to end up distracting the horse if we have to go beyond phase two here. So you're only allowed to use phase one and two. What that means, if you find yourself using phase three and phase four, you need to go back to the reinforcing stage, get the responsiveness better. So I'm going to head out to the arena and I'm going to put some of this um, into purpose and give you guys some examples. In this first clip, I'm going to be demonstrating the teaching stage here where I'm going to use all four phases, which means I'm going to use my bring my energy up. Then uh, phase two is I'm going to um, shake the stick towards him. And then phase three is I'm going to actually touch him with the stick. And phase four is I'm going to stick with it and promise him that I'm going to follow through until he finally yields backwards, and only then will I release. The next clip, um, you're going to see me use a long phase one. And then if the horse stops backing, I'm going to go straight to phase four and touch him. And then I'm going to reset. And then I'm going to ask again, and you'll see the level of responsiveness. So uh, apply this to the other games that you're playing whenever you're in the reinforcing stage and uh, really get that responsiveness up, which will allow you to refine more things. All right, good luck and have fun with this.